Okay, so you can see that uh, now each object has been connected to its nearest object. So you also notice that uh, we have these empties and uh, I didn't add those empties in my array body setup. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, it's easier to connect these like this and they're also easier to connect them uh, via this connect uh, script if we have if blender adds the empties and uh, you can also you also it also gives you much control over your you will see what i'm talking about in a few moments here so let me just uh, bear with me here so now what i'm going to do because sometimes i want to select all the bricks but uh, that will also but uh, if i use box select that will also select the empties we have here what i'm going to do is just select the empties only shift g to select uh, by type and uh, that will select uh, the empties if i have an empty selected and i want them to be moved to an empties collection uh, that way let me just collapse this for a second i can deselect i can hide the empties or unhide them now what i'm also going to do here is uh, select all the bricks and move them to their own bricks selection that way i can select them if i had if i want to select them and i can hide them if i want to hide them let me also bring back my plane uh, uh, it was just hidden so maybe let me just hide it because it's easier to work without without us being seeing it so if we play back you can see we get this weird issue here uh, because all the bricks are connected but uh, the impact force is a bit high uh, for for them uh, to, to have everything connected so the way things are breaking apart here is not quite realistic so what we can do is bring back the empties maybe let me first hide uh, the bricks and just look at the empties when you select uh, the empties you can see the settings we have uh, you can see it's a type rigid body constraint type of fixed and uh, we have uh, this the constraint enabled and uh, we have disabled collisions uh, one of the problem causing that issue is the disable collision so let's first try and disable that and see how this looks doing here so let's select everything and make sure we have an active uh, uh, empty then click disable collisions so that would we enable the collision and uh, because this is the active element we need to have this setting copied uh, to all the other empty so just right click on this and copy it selected so that all the others have uh, the collisions enabled again so if I unhide the bricks maybe like that see we still have a few issues here so usually when a force like this hits an object a tower like this uh, some bricks will stay intact with other bricks because of the adhesion uh, that's between them but uh, some of them will be will break away from the tower and uh, if you look at our empty constraints uh, you see that uh, the breakable uh, f property is disabled right now uh, that means that uh, doesn't matter how much force you have uh, you have hit the tower with uh, these th these bricks will never break away from each other and uh, that's why we are seeing a few issues here uh, because uh, this force is enough to break uh, some of the bricks off but none of them is breaking away because we have this breakable uh, properties switched off so let me first hide, hide the bricks again select all my empties now I want to turn this on right click copy to selected now if I hide the empties and return uh, the bricks now you can see we are getting a much more better so you can see the front bricks are breaking away quite easily but uh, we still have the same issue at the back here so the reason for that is that uh, if you look back to the empties uh, you have the breakable uh, property turned on 
but uh, there's also this threshold. So our threshold is set to 10, which is the minimum force required uh, to break uh, these constraints or these adhesion. Uh, so if you want a brick uh, to be uh, kind of broken uh, from the entire uh, from the from the tower or from the from the other bricks that is being welded to or connected to you need a force greater than 10 or at least equal to 10 so if you want these other parts to break correctly we need to, to reduce uh, this threshold a bit down so the empties reduce this maybe to something like three copy to selected you can see now we are getting a more realistic uh, breakup and uh, and to make this even more interesting what we can do is uh, let's first hide these empties you can just select maybe a portion like this let's make sure we have an active empty and for those selected parts we can give them a higher threshold so something like 10 again copy selected maybe disable collision now if I bring back my empties that means that the portion we have selected would require a much larger force are to break apart so you have that portion stick together you can increase this to something like a hundred just to show you what I mean copy to selected hide the empties bring back this you can see how that part stays connected Another trick you can ha you can do without touching the empties, you can just select, if say we want portion of the tower to stay erect, so to stay intact, say something like this, uh, let me just kind of select the bricks I want to stay. So if all these bricks, just reduce my brush but uh, I don't want any of these side. So we want all these bricks uh, to stay intact. Just want this to be connected, something like that, to be intact. And it's able to do this. Again, make sure you have at least one brick selected. You can go back to the rigid body and instead of setting these to active, you can give them a type of passive. Again, copy to selected so that uh, the setting is transferred to all the other bricks. And if you play back, can see parts of that tower will stay erect uh, but uh, I guess that doesn't look too realistic so we can just make sure that uh, most of just this part here is what stays intact so active copy to select you can see I think that looks more realistic if you still have and see how this is breaking up breaking down while still while staying connected that's a result of uh, the connections we added there and i think you get better results out of this so i think we would need just a small part of this staying intact so i'll just make sure that uh, Just a small bit like that that looks a bit more realistic you can see you also still have larger portions uh, that are still intact and I think that makes for good for a much more realistic uh, effect you can see see how that looks that looks really good I think yeah so in the next content in the next uh, part maybe we can add some smoke effects and see how that looks